Hello everybody, Swaroop here. Well, recently I have stumbled upon a property which I think is interesting about even on odd numbers. So, just thought I would share that with you. So, first uh, about odd numbers. Now, let's take an odd number, say 5. It can be expressed as a sum of 2 and 3. 2 and 3 both are consecutive uh, numbers. So, let's take another one, maybe 7 this time, 3 and 4. Next, say 15. 7 and 8 well you can also express this as 1 to 5 so the point here is any odd number can be expressed as a sum of consecutive numbers 5 for 5 that is they are 2 and 3 for 15 that can be either 7 8 or 1 to 5 so every odd number has this unique property well, this is unique because all even numbers doesn't have this property. Let me show you what I mean. So now, uh, let's take an even number this time, say 6. Well, that can be expressed as 2 plus 4. Well, if you further simplify that, you could get 1 plus 2 plus 3, sum of consecutive numbers. And similarly, for 10, you can get uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 because 10 is 6 plus 4 so even 10 you can express it as a sum of consecutive numbers but let's try that for 8 well you can try that forever but you can never expand this as a sum of positive numbers right well here is the reason which i have found so 8 can be expressed if you factorize it you can express it as 2 times 2 times 2 and if you take 10 here you can express that as uh, 2 times 5. So, the crazy part, the crazy difference between these two is 10 has got this even factor, but 8 don't. So, that is the reason 10 can be expressed as a sum of consecutive numbers and 8 cannot. So, uh, from this, you can even for 6, if you see, you can express that as 2 times 3. So, we have an odd factor here so that expand it as a sum of consecutive number so uh, that is the reason which i believe is why we can't express some odd num some even numbers as sum of continuous numbers so there you go that's the whole idea of this tutorial hope you guys had learned something new try to express each odd number as sum of consecutive numbers and even numbers which sa satisfy this condition of having an odd factor into consecutive numbers and i'm pretty sure you'll have fun doing that so that's for this tutorial goodbye